welcome to another Swigging Steve's Bargain Beer Reviews. Right, what have we got this week? Well, this little uh, number, Marsden's. Marsden's. Marsden's are a massive brewery. Uh, credit to them because they're one of these breweries that produces lots and lots of beer, mass production, but they still they still produce beer of a good quality. Some beer is better than others. Um, I have had this before, EPA, which stands for English Pale Ale. Uh, and I remember it being pretty nice. I can't remember exactly how nice, but I do remember having it on draft and thinking, this is, this is good. Um, lovely sort of session beer, it's at 3.6%, which is really nice, all right, nice beer. And this was one quid. This was another one, I think this was at Asda again. One quid. Place to go a moment for beers. Uh, it is absolutely brilliant. I can't preach it enough how good it is for prices at the moment. So make the most of it before they go up again, which they probably will do so. Uh, so yeah, just a little note that I like to keep it nice and chilled. I know I've said this a few times, but you can see there's just a bit of condensation on the glass. That's perfect temperature. Don't shove it in a freezer. Don't shove it in the fridge all day and drink it, because it just you'll not get the flavours off it. All right, you just, It's nice to have it cool and chilled. You're supposed to have it cellar cool. Uh, but you don't have it... I mean, you can drink beer warm, you know, if you want to, because it still tastes nice. Uh, but it, it's perfect temperatures, nice, cool temperature, like it is there. So it's a brown glass, nice little artwork as well. We've got a bottle cap on there too. All right, I've already got that one in my collection, unfortunately, so that'll have to be one of my swaps for when I go on tour with my collection. <laughs> um, yeah, nice little artwork on the uh, bottle there. Um, it says Marston's at the bottle as well. Oh yeah, there we go. That's that so far. Not so keen on the actual EPA bit. I think that it's okay. Average. Hmm. Ooh. Get a lovely smell for that straight away. Really nice. Um. Yeah, it's it, it it tastes quite uh, citrusy on the nose. That. Uh, so there we go. It's a nice golden colour. Not a lot of carb not a lot of head on there. Uh, give it a little bit of a swish. All right, get those flavours going. Mm, yeah, that smells good. It smells nice. Yeah. Oh yeah. Getting loads of um, loads of fruity notes on that. Yeah, it's really nice. Almost getting like a citrusy. It's uh, getting a lemony sort of smell on there. Uh, almost like a hint of like lime, um, grapefruit. Almost like some bready notes behind that as well, biscuity notes almost. Um, it smells lovely. It smells really inviting. It smells like it's basically it reminds me of, it's a quenti what I would call like a quintessentially British sort of beer. Uh, really nice and fruity. It reminds me of sitting in front of a pub uh, in the countryside or anywhere really, but in the countryside if we're going to picture it, you know, set the scene. There's some old fellas playing bowls in a in a. Where in like a green where they play bulls and oh, there's some people playing cricket, you know, and in a village square, I don't know, village green, and there's children in background screaming, and there's birds, and there's some water, you know, you you know, you've got your own perfect sort of picturesque uh, British sort of scene in your mind. It smells good. I like it, and I'm gonna dive in. Lovely. Oh, that's so nice. That's so nice. This is a pound. This is a pound. This is lovely. That flavour is so Moorish. Almost got a slight spicy note at the end. Almost, almost a little bit gingery. Almost a little bit gingery, I think. But yeah, it's very, but it's very, it's got that Moorish taste to it. But imagine, I mean, I've, I've reviewed um, Wayne Wright's beer, and that's got that sort of Moorish, like biscuity, bready sort of, like mm, you just want to keep drinking it, keep making it back. But this is a little bit more citrusy than that. This has got a little bit more fruit kick to it. Oh, it's so nice. It's so like drinkable. That's just the word. It's just drinkable. It's got a really nice, a little bit sweet as well. It's got a really nice sweet finish to it as well. Mm. Well done, Marsden's. This is a really nice beer. So yeah, you're getting grapefruit on the flavour. You're getting, um, like I said, you're getting a little bit of a. I'm getting like a 
almost like a, a spice, you know, like a gingery sort of flavour on the, on the end of my tongue. That's why I'm almost like a, a subtle ginger beer going on. It's citrusy. It's not big. It's not... Some hoppy beers are really, like, it's hoppy this, but it's not got massively bitter hops in it. I'm, I'm, I'm guessing there's, there's there's British hops in there like the Fuggles and there's like a bit of a Goldings and I say that quite a lot but there might be something like a Challenger or a... Because uh, it says English Pale Ale, I'm presuming they're all English hops. I were almost... No, not, I was going to say Cascade but that's American and I don't think that's in there. It's lovely. I like it. Mm, there's nothing. Mm, it's so lovely. It's so easy to drink. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's got a nice little tingly bitter note that, that, that it brushes your tongue. That's the citrusy sort of hops that are just like tickling your tongue. Not even tickling your tongue really. It's like just digging in a little bit, but in a nice way. There's some bitter beers like the Chinook hop, which I'm not very keen on, which is American hop, and that re that's really dry and that grabs away at your tongue and sometimes we're like, you know, you feel like you're drunk and it's like, you know, ripped away your taste buds and I'm not that keen on that. Some people like that sort of really, really dry, hot finish. I'm not so keen. Um, how inviting is that? Just that lovely sort of condensation on the glass and, you know, you've had an odd day in the garden or you've been on a long walk or you've had an odd, an odd day at work or anything really, you know. You've had an odd day and you've had one of these and it's just, oh, it's, and it just relaxes you. And the great thing about it is 3.6%, you know, so you might want to, you might be driving somewhere, you want to stop off at a pub, just have one of them, and you're fine, you know, because you ain't going to be going over the limit with that. <coughs> just to break your journey up. I mean, I do not encourage drinking and driving, that's for sure. Definitely do not go there. But this is, um, this is just such a lovely beer, you know, it's so nice. And the fact that it's low percentage, it's obviously quite clever about that because I know people can have a, a couple of them, or one of them at least, before they drive. Mm. Yeah. That's all I can say, it's like it's really nice citrusy note on it. Slightly floral as well, um, but nice, it's not overpowering. Very balanced, extremely balanced beer. Really good example of an extremely well balanced beer. Now let's see what it says on the back. Let's let's read it and see if I'm anywhere near what I've I've come up with there. Zingy smooth. I didn't say smooth, but it is smooth. And always exceptional. This is exceptional. This is lovely. Marston's EPA is a light blonde ale with subtle citrus flavours. Yeah, I said that. A delicate aftertaste. Yeah, so the delicate sort of hoppy taste. Uh, that's ref refreshingly different. I get like it. I feel like a gingeryness on it somehow. Maybe that's just me. Um. That is gorgeous. That is lovely. Please tell us what hops you're using in it. Come on, it. Come on. Tell us what hops you're using. We want to know. We want to know what's been put in there. Okay. We want to know what we're drinking. Right. That is the best one I've reviewed so far. That's going for an 8.9 out of 10. Not quite a nine, but judging, but with the price, a, a quid. You know, the Jennings is really nice. I, I reviewed the Jennings the other day. That was a quid, and you know, maybe on another day I'd prefer the Jennings, but uh, that just tastes better. Uh, that that's got the edge on it. Um, not quite a nine, not quite a nine. Um, and if this was probably a little bit more expensive, maybe not quite as high as a, 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 an eight point nine either. But I don't know. I don't know. Actually, it is lovely. It's a really nice beer. Eight point nine. Really happy. Really satisfied with that. Go out and buy this. If you if you drink lager and you want to try something different, go for it. If you drink real ale, go for it. If you just like drinking, go for it. You know, if you don't like drinking, pick one up and discover that you like drinking. You know, it's fantastic. Okay, take care of yourselves, and I'll see you next time.